Hey, my name is Adam, and in this video, I'm gonna show you our worship ministry toolkit. This is a Google spreadsheet on steroids. This thing has links to all the pieces of gear that we reference in our YouTube videos, as well as our online courses for worship ministry school students. And it's just a, a really great tool for you to use to find the right gear where you're not wasting time on your own researching what's the best microphone or DI box or this or that for a certain application. Uh, we've done all of the testing and research and have shared it with you. So what you do is you go to churchfront.com and you click the free toolkit button in the top corner and then get instant access now. You just enter your name and your email and then you'll get an email with the toolkit and then you'll get access to this Google Sheet. Um, I just wanna show you a little bit of navigation of this sheet. So as you can see, we've got instructions at the top. Um, welcome to the Worship Ministry Toolkit and uh, definitely let us know you can email me, adam at churchfront.com, if you have any suggestions or if a link isn't working, anything like that. Um, and then kind of instructions on how to make this your own if you want a copy of it yourself. But the other thing that I realize is people don't need every piece of equipment that's on this list. Sometimes you're only upgrading your live streaming system. Sometimes you're only upgrading your audio system. So what I've done is created this inventory and purchase list spreadsheet. So you can click this link and you can copy and paste things from the toolkit into here and it's gonna give you an updated total for your project. Uh, you also can um, have both an inventory and a purchase list. I think that's really handy because you wanna know what you have so you're not buying things you already have and wasting money like that. So um, yeah, when you get to this worship ministry toolkit, you can click this inventory purchase list spreadsheet and what you wanna do is make a copy of it for yourself. So file, make a copy, and then you can save it to your drive and you can name it whatever you like. So say your church's name is, uh, I don't know, the church. So you can call it purchase and inventory and purchase list the church and you can save it to your drive and then you'll be able to have editing access to it. So what that's gonna do is open it up. Now you have your copy of it and you just bounce between the two lists. So say you're working on a live streaming upgrade. You go to here, to the Worship Ministry Toolkit. You can use this menu um, to scroll through and see all the different tabs that we have. But uh, say you're working on your live stream, you just wanna go to the beginner live streaming setup for 2021. What you want to do is copy and paste these things into your own spreadsheet. So say you want to grab this camera, you just grab the whole line, just uh, click here and then hit copy or command C and then you bounce over to your inventory and purchase list. You can click this row here, hit paste. You can see that the, the price went up and you still have access to the link and then here you can buy the camera that you need. So you want to do that for all the items that you have. So if you say you already have a switcher, but um, you want to grab the, the tripod and the lens, you can copy these and paste them in here. So say there's something on the list that we don't have that you want to buy. So you want to buy that thing. And the link for it is uh, on Amazon. Say it's these... Uh, these paint sets. I just clicked the first thing, I don't know. You need some paint sets for your, your worship ministry. You can click this, insert link, and then paste that link in, and you can put the price in, 1850. So you don't have to use only things from our toolkit, but it's handy because we've spent a ton of time researching what are the best cameras that we believe would work for a worship ministry, what are the best sound systems, microphones, etc. all of that. Uh, say you want to, you're working on a big project and you're doing both live streaming and audio, you can put a little separator in here. Say you're working on just audio stuff and you want to grab some see 
some in-ear monitoring, you're upgrading that. You wanna grab some of these Behringer P2s. You can copy and paste that into this section. Uh, if you wanna make it pretty, you can, you can copy the, uh, the formatting. So you have a little section of here's all of the audio things. Say perhaps you need to separate the totals. You need to have a total for both live streaming and audio to be separate. What you can do is uh, choose wherever you wanna have that. So say you wanna have your audio total right here in this box. You can hit equal sign, sum, open parenthesis, grab whatever, however many it's gonna be, say it's these items, close parenthesis, and now you have the subtotal for just your audio. That is gonna change what's up here. So if you want to go that route, I would suggest doing a header for each section, saying this is your live streaming. You want this to be everything that's just within live streaming. So click these. And now you have a total for live streaming and for audio. This total, the total of the entire project, you're gonna want to change that to be the sum of just these things. So I'm gonna do, click this one, and then a comma, and then I'm gonna click this one, and then hit close parenthesis. And now we have the total. You can see here it's showing us the total for both this box and this box. This is a really handy tool. Uh, I've used this with so many students as they're going through the worship ministry school program. Uh, part of the reason that they sign up is that they want to upgrade their audio or they want to upgrade their live streaming system. So what we do is we get on a coaching call and we talk together through their specific needs, what they already have, what they need to purchase to make the whole system work. And it's just, uh, it's a very common coaching call that we have. So, so I encourage you to download the Worship Ministry Toolkit, to copy your own inventory and purchase list, make a list of what you have in your inventory, find out what you need to buy. And if you want specific one-on-one -on -one coaching where we can talk through exactly what your needs are and how to make sure what you buy works within your ecosystem and that it's gonna be uh, good purchase decisions, feel free to go to worshipministryschool.com, click the green Get Started link today, and we can help you grow yourself and your ministry.